Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41, and it's been a long time since I've been able to say this, but welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Strikers. That's right, it's finally time to finish what we started and rally to win the Super Bowser Cup. I mean, hopefully rally to win. We have a lot of matches to go, so we'll see what happens, but hopefully come back to win. Now, I have to be honest, I was somewhat unsure whether or not I would actually come back to finish this game. As you may know, I am a full-time teacher now. It's the profession I've been working towards. It is the primary focus of my life at this point. But after hearing your comments, your concerns, your voice about wanting to see this return, well, <laughs> I had no choice. And it feels great to be back, too. It's like seeing an old friend after being apart for a while. And we're about to come back to finish the Super Bowser Cup. And what better match to get things started, by the way? Wario versus Mario, the rivalry of the ages. Let's do it. I'm so hyped to get going again. Wario and his Koopa Troopers are going to go against Mario at the Battle Dome to get things started with the Super Bowser Cup's return after all this time. Like I said, it feels great to be back. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. Let me tell you, I am gripping the controller like I've never gripped it before. I am so hyped for the comeback here. Hoping to go four wins. That would be so fantastic. Four wins in a row. Oh, yeah. Wario with a big thumbs up, hoping to make that happen as Mario's going to show up some fancy footwork. But as if Wario even cares about that. He's like, suck it right here. Right here. I'll tell you where you can put that ball. Here we go. Here we go. Time to come back, baby. Let's get off to a strong start. We got two minutes to work with in the Battle Dome. We're going to try to work this sideline real quick and pass it over the middle. That's like a foolproof strategy. Koopa Trooper getting checked to the fence before he even gets a chance to field that ball. One timer, though, up the electric fence. Wario able to corral that. Another rebound, but nothing happened on all those shots. We got a couple items to work with now, but no goals there. Another pass, though, and another shot, but nothing blocked away by Critter. Can Koopa get that off the one-timer? No, a little bit of a breakaway. Banana is not doing anything. A perfect pass to Birdo. The stun. No, the bait of the... No, no. That's what's gone wrong consistently. The stun. It's like, welcome back to Super Mario Strikers where stuns never help me and always screw me over. Critter getting stunned by that. Look at this. Mario able to easily collect that. Not exactly how I wanted to start things off here, but Koopa Troopa getting a lot of separation, but nothing to do. Huh. Let's see. Uh, I'd like to try to get a good steal right. No, oh, no, Mario leaping over Koopa Troopa's check. There we go. There's the good slide tackle I was looking for. Pass to Wario right in front of that. Oh, Critter with a diving stop. Those quick reflexes paying off. I think that knocked down more of my teammates than it did the opponent. That bob bomb. That's all right. Let's try to get back up the side. Pass it over to Wario. Pass it to Koopa. Oh, man, the give and go action right there, but not paying off. Mario collecting that ball, but getting checked to the fence promptly. Koopa giving that to Wario. Look at the separation right here. The super strike. Oh, no. Diving it to stop that effort was Critter, and everyone was all up in Wario's face by the time he was able to get that off. Birdo body blocking that shot. Oh, I thought that would have been, that would have been so epic to get that perfect super strike. I even lined it up properly and everything. Oh, the mushroom kind of going wasted there. I thought I was going to be able to collect that ball quickly. Oh, lob shot, not paying off. Tried to, that, uh, it ends up screwing me over a lot, that stupid lob shot. No, no. All right, 20 seconds. Here we go, 20 seconds. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Wario with the super strike opportunity. Is it going to work? Is it going to be good enough? Is it going to be good enough? It is! That's two goals right there. The super strike. What a way to return. Not the perfect super strike, but hey, I'll take it. The body slam right into the ball for a two-point super strike goal. Oh, now we just got to maintain that lead for 18, 17, 16 seconds. Here we go. It's dangerous right now. Oh, geez. Let's the ball down here. Get the ball out of there. Koopa, hit. get it away. Okay, Critter's blocking that one. That's fine. Get out of here. There we go, there we go. Getting the ball up to this side. Four, three, the tox ticking down. And oh, that doesn't count. There's no way that counts. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I think my heart just skipped a beat. I, I was absolutely speechless for just a moment there. I, I, oh, <laughs> just, just in the, in the nick of time, able to preserve that lead. Critter with the diving stop there as Mario was on a bit of a breakaway towards the end. Wow, look at that. Good highlight from Critter. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that that just happened. <laughs> but what an exciting conclusion to the match. Look at that match highlight. 
Ritter getting in the way of that perfect pass and perfect shot opportunity. And of course, how could it not be the super strike goal from Wario? Actually had two opportunities for a super strike there. The first one was completely denied, but that second one, that second one pretty good there. And look at this. Two to one, the final score. Nine shots to five, well, 12 hits. That's what Wario's all about, those brutish hits on his opponent. And that's why I like playing Wario in this game so much, because that's what this game's all about. This game's about being aggressive, being in your opponent's face, and securing that two to one win with literally no time to spare. As Wario jumps now up all the way to second place, trailing Daisy, who's a perfect five and oh so far. Oh God, I <laughs> just looked at the upcoming match. Now, of course, we have to face off against the super team, which is, as you know, borderline unfair in this game. Not only can each of their members use a super strike, but it just it tanks the frame rate of this game. I don't know if you can tell by watching or if the video will really show it, but when you play, you notice a noticeable frame rate decrease, and it's really, really distracting, but that's okay. We've learned to battle through adversity in the past, and we're going to apply that right here. The super team just kind of strolls out. They're like, yeah. Yeah, we totally belong here. It's fine. Yeah, but Warrior doesn't care about any of that. He's just going to give him the same usual taunt, flexing his muscles a little bit, saying, come at me, bro. It's the Super Team Robots just going to be like, all right, let me just casually cause down, call down lightning from the sky to charge myself. It's fine. Whatever. Oh, what, what was that? Super Team. I am disappointed as Warrior with the perfect shot opportunity, but nothing happened. And I've never seen the Super Team give up one that easy. Like, that was just, let me just walk up and try to shoot the ball. That's not happening. We're not, you can't get that at this level of competition. Here we go. Koopa Troop is moving the ball effectively. Another perfect pass, but shut down immediately by Super Team. Oh, man, it's hard to see the dark colored characters against the dark background of the stage. Get out of here. Knock him down. Get that ball. Going to pass to Wario. Hopefully he's going to be able to get that. He is a perfect shot. No. Blocked away by Robo Critter. Super team collecting the ball now. Trying to advance it past midfield. But knocked down immediately. Checked it to the fence by Cooper Troop. Going to try to get that ball out of here. Triple red is going to be a problem. But able to evade that is Cooper Troop as he passes it to his teammate. Shoots for a goal. There it is. I didn't have much hope for that one at all. That was a quick little weak shot. But sometimes that's all it takes, a little element of surprise. You see Super Team, it was like turned around. He was like, what? He got that ball over there so fast? Look at that. And Koopa Troopa leaping up into the air with a bicycle kick to put that by Robo Critter as he leaps to try to stop it way too late. And that's a quick 1-0 advantage for Wario. Up 1-0 over the Super Team, trying to set up there for a shot, but absolutely not going to let that happen. Oh, boy, that's bad. That's bad. The ball luckily rolling down to Super Team's side of the field. Uh oh, this is bad. Get out of there. Get out of there. That's not happening. All right, Wario with a lot of separation right here. Using the banana peels to get all by himself for another super strike. We've seen a lot of these so far. Can we get it? There it is! The super strike back in full force. I didn't even expect to have an opportunity to use a super strike at all in this entire tournament. And the super strike totally paying off here. Back to back games where that super strike has proven to be super effective. And here we go, another opportunity, but shut down immediately by the super team. That's all right, a three nil advantage for Wario's team. I think might be good enough, but uh, I speak way too soon. Oh, see, why do I have to go hype myself up? I have to be like, oh yeah, of course, three nothing. There's nothing that, what could possibly go wrong? Immediately, as soon as I finish my sentence, the super team making me eat my words Look at that. That's textbook right there. Even ripping some of the panels out of the wooden floor. A devastating strike by the Super Team. All right, now we just gotta, I just want to kind of, you know, make something like this happen. There we go. Now, I just want to kind of keep the ball on this side of the field, like, so we don't have to risk giving up a goal. Like, I don't, I don't really care if I score again. I just want to keep the ball up here and get it out of my own end. But Super Team slipping on the banana peel, getting two for one with that slide tackle. Cooper Troop is up and ready to go. The last banana peel, that banana was devastating. Perfect pass opportunity over the middle with the headbutt. No, blocked by Robo Critter. The rebound, a little tricky there, but with time ticking off the clock, the Super Team's hopes of winning are diminishing along with it. And that's it. A 3-1 victory. Wario back-to-back -back victory. And the, the last one over the Super Team, which I think is meant to be a team that you're not supposed to win against. How did this match highlight number three? 
Wow, I I'm surprised. I thought that would be a little bit higher up on that uh, match highlight. But hey, the two-point super strike goal. Let's see match highlight number two. Oh, that, that goal right there. That was nothing. That didn't even mean anything in the long run. But the highlight of the match, oh yeah, it was definitely this. To get that scoring rally started. That's right. The little give and go by Koopa. The super team was totally confused. They didn't know what was going on. And that sails over the head of Robo Critter for the win. Look at that. Three to one. Six shots to two. We are dominating. This is why. Maybe we're on fresh rest. Maybe now we're all rested. We're total. We don't have any opponents in our heads anymore. There's no more mental games. There's no more. We, we're ready to go. We are absolutely 100% ready to go. Back to back victories. And now look at the opportunity in front of us. Daisy versus Wario taking on that first place team with a chance to hand Daisy her first loss of the tournament, which I'd like to do handily right now, if possible, at Crater Field. Man, look at that. Rank one is 18 points, six and oh. I don't know if intimidated is the right word because I certainly think I have the mental toughness and physical fortitude to face off against an opponent like Daisy, but certainly you do start to get a little worried. You see her at the top of the leaderboard, 6-0 in the hardest tournament that the game has to offer. Maybe she's going to bring an extra level of fierceness and competition. Look at that. She's like, I know I'm 6-0. I don't even have to tell you anything. I don't even have to acknowledge your taunt. But Wario hopefully going to make her eat her words here. She's going to try to get things started. I don't know why she gets the ball first, considering she's in first and I'm in second. But whatever. Fine, fine. Trying to create a little bit of noise there. It's Koopa with a long distance shot, but nothing happened. Oh. No, 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 Check my guys before they even reach the ball. That's how I'm going to make you pay. But that's okay. We got a lot of game left. We got a lot of game left to make something happen to recover for that. Look at that. See? The green shell even getting in the way of Daisy there. It, you know, intercepting that perfect pass. Look at this. This creates a golden opportunity for Wario with a shot, but not happening. Another steal, though. And a shot blocked away by Critter, but off the deflection. Cooper Trooper recovers and gets a goal. Look at this. Coming back. Like I said, that mental toughness. We are not going to be broken by an early game super strike. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to break us. We're only going to come back stronger and tougher. All right, I don't know if I'll be able to make that one go in, but that would be pretty awesome if Wario now strikes back, and he does! And he does! Look at that, even off the mark! Wario strikes back with a super strike of his own! And the super strike proving to be a, a, a huge factor in the Super Bowser Cup. Like I said, I didn't even think we'd see it at all. And it's been the majority of the goals scored so far. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm, there's no way I'm going to let Daisy receive that. But just like that, now 3-2. to two. Wario team having the advantage as Bowser now shows up to cause even more chaos. But Field is tilted, meaning he's going to come back. I don't know where he is, but he'll be back. Hold on. Probably going to be right when I'm on an offensive opportunity. There he is. I think he just crashed down. He did. He just crashed down over there. He's breathing fire, getting in my defender's way. But Critter's still able to maintain focus and gather the ball after all of that. Way to go. Critter's been on point so far. For the, for the most part, I have no complaints about Critter. Sometimes, sometimes not so much. But today, today's been a good day. All right, get that one-timer. No, not happening. Critter able to block that one away. But maintaining the lead here. Uh oh Daisy trying to get it. Oh, no! A long-distance snipe just sneaks into the corner. Look at that. The bottom right, right inside the post there. It couldn't have been more perfectly positioned. And Daisy able to tie the game at three. We are three to three after two super strikes and two single goals from either side. The stun! Capitalize off the stun! No, it's not happening. Hold on. Oh, get out of here. Get that shot off. Another long-range snipe of our own, but unfortunately doesn't pay off. Pass, though, and a shot by Wario. What a setup that was. That was a golden opportunity to take the lead right before sudden death. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. I have no idea who's like up and who's knocked down by items. Good D by Wario getting in his face to ruin his concentration there. We have three seconds, two seconds. Can we avoid sudden death with a perfect pass, perfect shot? This would seal the game, and it does! And it does! It goes right past the head of Critter. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. 159 in the match. I believe there was half a second on the clock. We are just winning by the skin.
skin of our teeth today. That should seal things. I mean, unless something happens in half a second, that should be it. Mario, I can't even believe that we won that game. And this, look at that. There was 0 0.2 left on the clock securing that winning goal. We are absolutely 100% clutch today. Get those clutch performance. Look at Wario showing off some flexibility with that win. Highlight of the match, Critter with that leaping grab. Not even a deflection, not even a rebound on that one. Just able to secure it immediately. That was a good goal. Got to give credit where credit's due. That goal perfectly positioned, but of course, the highlight of the match with 0.2 seconds left on the clock. First, I think we won both games, like two games today, by a matter of 0.2 seconds. Mario unable to get his shot off because he was too late, and this now happening, look at this. Look, that was that was just unbelievable, totally unreal. That's how you come back to beat first place. That's how it, it all happens. That, that was just perfect. That was everything I could have hoped for, a clutch performance, coming back in the face of adversity. It was just absolutely fantastic. And we're going to advance up the leaderboards just a bit here. Daisy's still sitting at 18 points, but didn't get anything off of that as Wario now creeping up. And now we got a, a match against our last place opponent, Luigi, which it's sometimes easy to overlook the last place team and be like, like we're fighting the last place team. Like, come on. How, how can we? We didn't even try. Like, actually rest our best players and just let it, let like the scrubs go out and beat the last place. But no. In a competition like this, everybody is coming to play. Everybody is ready to play. Everybody's going to bring their A game. So I have to be ready. I can't just be like, oh, well, it's just last place. No, 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 no. We have to continue the momentum and have it carry over to not just beat Luigi's team. I'm going to try to crush Luigi's team and really send a message to Daisy, who's still on top of the leaderboard. But now I think she's a little scared of us. Now we've handed her our her first loss. We got to make the noise happen right here. Hammer Bros, he's trying to be aggressive, trying to shut us down immediately. I think is Luigi's general strategy here, but we got to make sure that doesn't happen. Let's get the shell out there to cause some disruption. There we go, off the rebound. Oh man, another deflection, trying to get that perfect pass. Hammer Bros is just sitting there waiting for it. There's no way I'm going to let that happen. Look at this, perfect pass. Oh, it wasn't a perfect pass, but a shot. Good shot nonetheless. Nothing doing there. So he's trying to get that ball, trying to get a quick strike. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, I don't know if that's going to happen. No, we're able to block that one. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, Luigi came to play today. He clearly came to play. He was clearly not just going to sit on last place and be like, yeah, no, you know, you can just beat me. That's fine. No, he came to play. But so did Wario. So did Wario. And right on cue, the captain making his presence known with a leaping goal to be the first one of the match right there. It's a goal. No, 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 no. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that, the sideways bicycle kick. Have you ever seen such athleticism from a man so short and stocky? Yes. Oh no, Bowser crashing into the arena again to cause havoc. Get out of the way. Oh, the shells flying everywhere. Bowser's barrel rolling into the ball. Nobody can even get up to get the ball. He's breathing fire towards it. Getting a one-timer as Koopa, another one off the deflection, but nothing after all of that. Nobody can even stand. Bowser was just like, not only did he knock them down, he jumped on top of them. That was just Let's see, 49, 48. Remember my plan of crushing Luigi? I might just have to survive here, but I don't know. Another scoring opportunity for Wario. Nothing there, but another perfect pass and perfect shot. Again, back to back. Doesn't pay off. Rebound and another shot and another one-timer, and that one goes in. One of those had to. One of those had to. That was an offensive flurry of shots. Look at that. One after the other, after the other. It's like a firing range over there. And finally, one tips off that crossbar and makes it in. Absolutely fantastic. That's a 2-0 advantage for Wario's team, but one super strike could really tie things up. We've already seen Luigi attempt it once. Let's see if he goes for it again. Oh, 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 oh. Dribbling way too close to the critter right there. I was a little caught off guard that I was actually able to corral that and missed all the chaos. That's alright. The one timer from Hammer, that's kind of a weak little shot. Nothing's going to happen off of that. All right, Wario, a little bit of disadvantage here. One of the Koopas is down, but still able to get that perfect pass off. Luigi's going to be way too late on that check, but Ritter luckily in that corner. I don't know, they're taking up a lot of time, though. Tick, 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 and unable to get a shot off. You know, not only can skill lose you matches, sometimes, you know, the opponent's just better than you, or you're just better than the opponent, and it just comes down to a matter of skill, but sometimes that skill 
is situational awareness. And if you saw it right there, Luigi with a total lack of situational awareness. The time taken off the clock with a last ditch effort to try to score. And they're just casually dribbling the ball up the field. They did a couple passes, but then Hammer Brothers just hung on to it at the end. You gotta do the one timer. You gotta try to make something happen. Although I guess when you're faced with such athleticism as that, there's really not much you can do. A decisive 2-0 victory, Wario over Luigi, really just surpassing him in every category. Luigi do, uh, uh, did get one super strike, but it really didn't amount to anything. And how's that for a way to come back after a long absence? Wario with four straight victories. I couldn't be prouder of him. To be perfectly honest, I couldn't be prouder. And what that does is put us on top of the leaderboard over Daisy because we beat her. So how about that? Not only do we secure four straight victories in a row after a long rest, we move up to the top of that Super Bowser Cup standings. I told you we were going to come back, and I fully intend on delivering on that promise. We're going to try to maintain our lead as DK takes us on to start the next episode of Super Mario Strikers. But for now, this is Shadow Mario 41. Thank you so much for watching, and it's good to be back. I will see you guys next time for more Super Mario Strikers. Ciao.